ABC General Hospital spoilers reveal that Lulu's return has brought immense joy to Rocco, who feels a surge of happiness and excitement upon seeing his mother awake after her long coma. Rocco's joy spreads throughout the family, like a fresh breeze lifting the dark clouds of worry and loss that once filled the household. However, this happiness is tinged with sadness, as Sam's death was the price that allowed Lulu to live again. Sam's sacrifice has granted Lulu a second chance at life, leaving the family in a state of shock. While Rocco revels in the reunion, the others grapple with mixed emotions, joy for Lulu's return mingled with grief over Sam's loss. This event brings an overwhelming shock, pulling each character into a whirlpool of conflicting emotions, exultation, sorrow, and pain. The fact that Sam's death enabled Lulu's survival has added layers of complexity and contradiction, making everyone question whether they can truly rejoice without feeling sorrow, or if this will go down as one of the most intense, heartbreaking events they've ever experienced. Rocco begins to feel the heavy burden of Danny's repeated hurtful actions and emotional attacks. At first, Rocco tries to bear it, ignoring Danny's harsh words and actions. But as their confrontations become increasingly intense, Rocco's sense of hurt and pressure grows. Danny's relentless targeting of Rocco gradually dims his joy and optimism. As the tension mounts, Rocco feels himself caught in a spiraling obsession, with Danny's torment eroding his emotions and spirit. Day by day, memories of their confrontations and the accompanying fear consume Rocco's mind, making him quiet and robbing him of his former innocence. These harsh, relentless changes gradually make Rocco withdraw, and without timely support, he may entirely lose trust and hope in those around him. Rocco stands at the edge of a mental breakdown, where his obsessions gradually extinguish his emotions, pushing him into a dark and isolating journey. Dante and Lulu, swept up in ever-growing dangers and conflicts, lack the time to care for Rocco, leaving him isolated and directionless. Without his parents' care and attention, Rocco feels abandoned, with no one to lean on during his most vulnerable times. This absence of love and care makes Rocco increasingly vulnerable, leading him into a dark spiral where repressed emotions and obsessions become uncontrollable. Over time, these bottled-up feelings begin to erupt, and Rocco exhibits behaviors he has never shown before. Outbursts of unexplained anger, destructive actions, and uncontrollable rebellious episodes become part of his routine. Rocco starts to appear cold and distant to those around him, occasionally displaying disruptive behavior both at school and at home. He feels he must become different, drawing attention in any way possible, even if negative, as it seems the only way his parents and others will notice his existence. Rocco's condition is not just a sign of temporary imbalance. His sense of abandonment and haunting thoughts have taken root deep within, turning into a source of psychological stress that he cannot manage alone. Rocco becomes increasingly conflicted. On one hand, he craves his parents' love and attention, yet on the other, the disappointment and anger from feeling abandoned drive him to act in ways that push loved ones further away. While Dante and Lulu remain preoccupied with external threats, they fail to see the silent crisis unfolding within their family. Rocco, consumed by deep-seated pain and resentment, tries to make his parents understand his loneliness and despair. If Dante and Lulu do not recognize and intervene soon, Rocco may spiral further into psychological chaos, where his pain and obsessions will gradually kill off his positive emotions. A part of Rocco begins to lose hope, and without timely help, he may lose himself in this storm of emotions, pushing the family toward a new tragedy. Rocco's depression grows deeper, with his psychological state worsening to the point that Dante and Lulu have no choice but to admit him to a psychiatric facility for specialized care. This difficult decision sends shockwaves through the family. The reality that Rocco faces a psychological crisis beyond their control leaves Dante and Lulu in deep sorrow and regret. They feel they have failed in their duty to protect and care for their son, and the thought of sending him to an unfamiliar place for treatment fills them with despair. In the facility, Rocco confronts challenging therapies, including exercises to regulate his emotions, control his fears, and address his feelings of abandonment. He feels lost, not only due to the strange environment, but also from the loneliness he believes no one truly understands. 
His days in the facility are full of tension and challenge, not only for Rocco, but also for Dante and Lulu, as they confront the responsibilities they neglected in the past. Dante and Lulu continuously struggle with guilt, blaming themselves for not recognizing Rocco's condition earlier. They visit him as often as possible, trying to offer emotional support, but the pain lingers. Rocco finds it hard to forgive their absence and lack of care during the times he needed them most. Their visits are tense, and Rocco closes himself off more, making it difficult to open up like before. Sending their son to a psychiatric facility has created a monumental crisis in the family, reshaping everything they once thought was stable. Dante and Lulu realize that helping Rocco fully recover requires not only healing him, but also rebuilding their family, facing past mistakes and emotional wounds. The decision to place Rocco in the facility is not just a challenge for him, but a painful reminder of the responsibilities and love they must uphold, forcing them to confront difficult truths about the shortcomings within their family relationships.